The best things to do in Phillip Island, Australia. Phillip Island offers incredible Australian wildlife experiences set to the backdrop of spectacular landscapes. The famous Penguin Parade is just the beginning, so get ready for a holiday filled with nature, local food and wine and fresh sea air. Phillip Island is best accessed by car. Near enough to reach on a short drive from Melbourne, but far enough to feel like you've had a real escape. Phillip Island is Victoria's holiday sweet spot. Home to the little penguins, idyllic beaches, captivating coastlines, unique wildlife, family fun activities and world-class events, adventure awaits you on Phillip Island. Phillip Island is a treasure trove of wildlife experiences, adrenaline-packed activities, hiking trails that cut through wetlands or lead to sweeping coastal views, and farm fresh food grown alongside vines that yield fruit for the region's premium cool climate wines. Pristine white beaches and high-octane motorsports, endless family fun and iconic wildlife, you'll find it all on a seaside holiday at Phillip Island, just 90 minutes from Melbourne. See little penguins and sleepy koalas in their natural habitat, teach the kids to swim on a quiet bay beach, and soak up all the action at the Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix. There's so much to see and do on Phillip Island, no matter what time of year you visit. Discover adventure attractions, family fun activities, tours, scenic flights and world-class motorsports. Here are the best things to do in Phillip Island. Admire the view at the Nobby's Boardwalk. Another must-visit spot if you're going to Phillip Island. To experience the natural beauty of the island, go for a stroll along the Nobby's Boardwalk and witness the awesome blowhole, a spectacular sea cave that thunders during big southern swells. There is also a Nobby's Center where you can learn about the local area, see silver gulls and fur seal colonies at Seal Rocks. See the pelicans feeding at San Remo Beach. Every day at 12 noon, the San Remo Fishermen's Co-op feed a group of pelicans on the nearby foreshore. Overlooking the Phillip Island Bridge, a flock of pelicans arrive early and patiently wait for one of the co-op's fishermen to come out and give them a fishy snack. This tradition started back in 1985 when pelicans started to come here to eat the unwanted fish off cuts that fishermen would throw overboard. Today, the pelican feeding is regulated by the Department of Environment, Land, Water, and Planning and is undertaken by well-trained staff. The feeding lasts for about 10 minutes, during which the fisherman gives a short educational presentation that focuses on the pelican's diet, lifestyle and how we can improve conservation and environmental efforts to protect them and similar species. Keep an eye out on the water too because you may spot some large stingrays which often glide through the shallow waters here. Watch the Penguin Parade. One of Victoria's major tourist draws, the Penguin Parade showcases the parade of little penguins on the island. This colony of creatures are the smallest species of penguin in the entire world, with Phillip Island being one of the only places you can see these creatures in the wild. The colony spends the majority of their day swimming in Victoria's deep waters, hunting for fish and other small creatures. However, after sunset, the herd of penguins venture back to their nesting ground, which lies right on Phillip Island's Summerland Beach region. Travelers have visited this area for years and seeking out this unforgettable sighting, beginning in the 1920s, when island residents Bert West, Burn Denham, and Bert Watchorn opened the beach up for the first organized viewings of the penguins. Over the years, it has progressed, even more, installing a number of viewing platforms and assigned nesting areas, making it one of the best eco-tourism facilities in the world. Visitors can choose to sit on the standard viewing platform, the upgraded Penguin Plus, or even an underground viewing. Seeing these incredibly cute penguins shuffle their way up the beach to their burrows, Walk the Cape Woolamai Trail. A visit to Cape Woolamai is an absolute must. Located at the most southeasterly tip of Phillip Island this stunning natural reserve has incredible golden beaches, granite cliff coastlines, countless vantage points, and wildlife, including wallabies. Cape Woolamai Coastal Walk is a trail along the top of coastal cliffs through a state fauna reserve with gorgeous panoramas, sea views and dramatic rock formations.
The trail also passes by the burrows of around 1 million mutton birds which breed here between October to April before migrating back to Alaska each year. Walk the Cape Wulamai Trail to take in the spectacular views of Phillip Island and the surrounding coastline. Cape Wulamai is Phillip Island's highest point and between October and April this area, is home to thousands of shearwater birds. It's an 8.5 km circuit hike which can take approximately 2.5 hours to complete. If you're into exploring by foot, the Cape Wulamai Trail is a must-do. You'll be fascinated by its beauty. Explore Koala Conservation Center. This eco-tourist attraction has been essential for saving the koala population of Phillip Island and is also among the amazing things to do on the island. Enjoy the views the local koalas get every day when you visit the Koala Conversation Center. A center with a number of tree-top boardwalks just let you roam by the bushland's tree's top branches, giving you front-row views of the native koalas hanging about. The center offers over six hectares of bushland, so you can immerse yourself in Victoria's magnificent bushland while meeting some of the residents' koalas. The bush isn't just home to the beloved koala, with wallabies, echidnas and an array of bird life roaming about too. Don't leave before heading to the informational center, which has everything you would ever know about the beloved koalas. Here you can get up close and personal with the koalas in their natural habitat as well as learn more about them. The price to visit the Koala Conservation Center is around $8. Experience a seal watching cruise. You can experience seal watching on a two-hour cruise. The catamaran with outdoor and indoor viewing decks is the perfect way for you to see the largest colony of fur seals in Australia. You might be lucky on the journey as you may possibly spot dolphins, penguins and even whales. Usually these cruises provide a guide to inform you about the wildlife and history of Phillip Island. These tours take around two hours approximately. Discover the Churchill Island Heritage Farm. The Churchill Farm offers a wide range of daily farming activities and walks around the island. The daily farming activities consist of cow milking, sheep shearing, whip cracking and working dogs. This activity is suitable for families with kids, Bear in mind that a visit to the Churchill Island Heritage Farm is included in the Four Park Pass if you're interested in visiting other places too. Explore the Wilson's Promontory National Park. There are many day trips from Melbourne taking you to the picturesque Wilson's National Park to explore its stunning mountain ranges, beautiful beaches, bush tracks and a lot more breathtaking spots it has to offer. You can go bushwalking, sightseeing, birdwatching and spotting the wildlife. If you'd like to book a tour with a professional guide, go ahead. You'll get all the inside tips from a local to make the experience even more fun and informative.